Hey, how's everybody doing today? I'm Lucci. I'm back with another video. I haven't done a video in a little while. Um, I'm going to talk about three different types of German Shepherds. I'm going to go right into this video. Um, I belong to a German Shepherd group and I'm starting to find out that people don't know what they have. And what I mean by that is that there's a couple of different types of German Shepherds out there, but I'm going to cover three of them. There's your DDR, there's your working line German Shepherd, and there's your show line German Shepherd. I will start with the show line German Shepherd first because actually what I have over here is my dog Rocco. Rocco's a two and a half year old German Shepherd. He's actually a show line German Shepherd. And a show line German Shepherd, Rocco, come boy, come here, let me show you something. A show line German Shepherd, if you look at his body, if you can see it, if you return for me, they have a lower back line to them. Their backs aren't straight. So that lower back line is what most show line German Shepherds have. And that's something that people look for when they're having a dog and they want to do shows. They look for this low back line. I'm not a fan of the low back line, but he didn't make the cut because he doesn't have the low, low back line for a show dog. And he also came out with long hair. But he is actually from a show line. He's uh, from West Germany, his grandparents. And this is what a show line looks like as far as body. They do have lower backs. Now your DDR and your working line have what's called a straight back. And they're smaller. If one thing about a, a show line German Shepherd too, he has, come on for me boy, he has a really long body. The working line of DDRs don't have the long body. They have thicker bodies and bigger heads. So when you see the DDR and your working line Shepherd, you're gonna be looking at a Shepherd with a bigger head. Now, the other thing about the DDRs and the working line Shepherds is that they're full of energy. Whereas though a dog like this will tire out quicker. I have a small video that you can look at actually teaching him how to walk another dog on a leash. And it's his girlfriend. He's walking her and she is a working line German Shepherd. She has a straight back which comes straight. A little thicker body and she's shorter in her, her measurements. And she's also, um, what I find in my opinion personally, I find a lot of working line German Shepherds and DDR German Shepherds, they have what's usually a sable color or a saddle back. Other thing about him is that if you look at him, he's actually what's called a black blanket back. It goes over top of his shoulders, it runs all the way past his legs. So that's a black blanket. And easy to tell, when you see a saddle back, you think of a horse and think of that, that line where the black saddle just comes right here like it would on a horse and it stops right here and you're just going to say well but your DDR and your working line shepherd well, something I should point out if you don't have a lot of time this particular breed has a lot of energy in it it's not going to want to be kept in a cage he's the type of breed that needs a job if you see his ears going up my older lab is coming by in a minute I have an old lab who's 12 years old he just came, he's coming outside to come see us. Let's see what's going on, Paka Paka? This is my lad. He's 12 years old. He's doing well. Um, but back to the German Shepherd. We can talk about labs too. There's English labs, there's American labs. But with German Shepherds and your DD on your working line, they don't get tired as quick. And you're going to need more time to give that type of dog, that particular breed. Your show line, they can be now. One thing that does happen with some show lines some show lines, um, probably with him also, and I have a family tree on him, so I really should have to look back generations. Some show lines do have a mixture of working line and their bloodline, so there can be that. But if I take him with his girlfriend he has, and I let them run, they run for a good 10 minutes, and they run. German Shepherds can run almost, almost 35 miles an hour. These two, gir these two girls, uh, my male and female that he, my friend has, when they run, they run full blast. We have, I have an acre right here in my yard. You can't see the other part of it. But we have together, me and him have about two acres down the street. And they run on those two acres. And when they run nonstop, usually by the end of the run, my show dog shepherd is usually laying on the ground. And his working line shepherd is still ready to play. She's still ready to go. And she's not tired. So when you have... A German Shepherd, you want to pick a German Shepherd and you're buying one, ask about the type you're getting. Ask them 
If you can't tell from straight away from looking at a puppy, sometimes you can look at the puppy and you really can't tell. You can see his form. You can see he has a big head, sloping back, uh, narrow body. That's going to be your show line. Whereas, I mean, I'm sorry, that's going to be your working line. The, the thicker body and the big head. And then your show line like him, thin, long bodies, um, smaller type of head, not as big as your working line shepherd. That's going to be your show shepherd. So pay attention to those things because it's going to matter to your lifestyle whether you get a working line or a show line. Believe me, he has a lot of energy and he's a show line. If it wasn't for the fact that I have time and I know what I, what I have to do, if you notice out here, I even have a little play area for him that he can jump over things. It's a rope and string out here to get him tired. But a lot of times you have a dog. The other thing about DDR is I need to point out. A DDR is more of a dog that's trained to be like your police type German Shepherd. They're more inclined to be uh, working and to have a more aggressive personality. I won't say an aggressive dog, but personality whereas though they're more easier to train for that type of thing. They're also much more athletic and agility wise whereas though they're more prone where you can teach them tricks, jumping, going through hoops and things. Any German Shepherd can do it. but the ability is just like any athlete. If you, you have a, you have athletes that are better than other athletes, just think of your DDR as being your top line athlete German Shepherd versus your show line German Shepherd being more your laid back. And he's nothing laid back about him, but that's the way you really want to look at it. So when you have your German Shepherd and you're afraid of or you're not sure why he acts the way he acts, um, you can do DNA tests. Find out if you have a DDR or working line or show line German Shepherd. Um, you're watching Furry Life TV. I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe and get back to me on my other videos. Thank you so much. Have a great day.